I once spent a pleasant afternoon riding around topless on a motorbike. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Hang on. Where, where were you going on this motorbike? That is the last question I'd have thought. <laughs> <laughs> Very practical. Wow. We've got different angles, me and you, haven't we? <laughs> Indeed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who were you with? A friend. Was, well. he, was he riding in you at the back or the other way around? I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> what was the man's name, Esme? It was, um, Phil. 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 And what uh, relationship were you to Phil? He was my boyfriend. So he was your boyfriend. What, when was this? Um... I mean, just give us an approximation. Oh, decades ago. How many oh. decades? Uh -huh. Oh, no. No what? Don't make her say that. All right. Which century? <laughs> <laughs> the last century. Is that worse? Is that worse? Is that worse? 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 No, good at these things. <laughs> what about He's a very, very rude man. <laughs> <laughs> What's he wearing? Uh, I don't remember. Well, let me rephrase the question. Did he have anything out? <laughs> Well, he had his arms out. <laughs> yeah. Can you first of all tell us why you decided to go to... Was it just because you were being devil may care? Well, I'd been sunbathing. Really? Right. In right. my right. knickers. Just your knickers? Well, no, actually, I had a scarf tied around my top. Oh, and then right. you took that off on <laughs> yeah. the motorbike. That's very dangerous. Did it... oh, Could have got caught in the wheels. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if my idea earlier would have been that Phil had something out, he could have caught that in the wheels, couldn't he? <laughs> well, I don't know who this Phil is, but he's very impressive. You should never have done it. <laughs> so you are, you are lying, sunbathing, and he suggests, why don't we go for a spin on the bike? Yep. You jump on the back of the bike, mm. and at this point you've got the improvised bra thing on. Mm. Mm. So when you start riding, it's on. Mm. At what point in the journey did you decide to get rid of the scarf? And where did you put it? Well... What happened is, because we were going so fast, mm. the scarf fell round my waist. If you were holding on to him, I guess. So you yeah. weren't in a position to put it back on? No. And how long did this last? About 45 minutes, an 45 hour. 45 minutes? <laughs> Where was this in the world? Uh, Surrey. Oh. oh. Surrey. I know Surrey well. Yeah. What about us in Surrey? I think it was called Bug Hill. Right. Bug Hill. Do you know Bug Hill? Yeah, yeah. Oh, OK. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's where I once saw a topless motorbike. <laughs> so I suppose, in, in a way, though, they're not totally... They're not totally exposed to the elements. How big are they? Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. It's a very windy day if they're out of there. <laughs> Tell you that... that... Oh. Very nice. You were doing the size of them. I wasn't going like... Oh, you were doing this? They were... <laughs> I was actually just... <laughs> Matters. What are you thinking, Vicky? I, I think it's true. You think it's true I as well? I think she's a wild child. I really enjoyed it. It felt like an episode of Heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> it did a bit, didn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go with my team. If my, both my team members say it's well, true. Well, it was our... Edison and my gut feeling. OK, so you're saying that it's true. OK. Esme, was it the truth or was it a lie? It was... True! Yeah! <laughs>